Hi, and welcome to another Ask ZBrush with Paul Gabry. We were sent in a question on how can you generate a texture map from Polyfame. So I want to cover the basics of how to do this with Inside and ZBrush. So we have our model that ships with ZBrush, which is our earthquake model. He already has UVs and he already has polypaint on him. So before we generate a map, we need to set the map size that we want and the padding that we want within the UV space. So to do that, we're going to come in the tool palette. We're going to come down here to our UV map and you'll see a slider right here. It says your UV map size and this will go all the way up to an 8K, which would be 8,192 pixels by 8,192 pixels. And of course we have buttons here to quickly go to the popular map sizes. And below that you will see the map border overpaint for generating your maps. So first you're gonna to need to generate the map size that you want. And now to create your texture map, you just need to make sure your model's sitting at the highest subdivision level where your paint quality is also at its highest level. So you can see in this model, we are sitting at subdivision level six, which is the highest level. And now what we're going to do is come down here into our texture map and we're going to click this new from poly paint and that's it. ZBrush is now going to take the poly paint from this model and apply it to a texture map as you can see here. Now there's one more thing I do want to cover and that's if your pipeline is having smooth UVs within your other application. So if you were sending out this map and in the other application that you're going to maybe render in, the UVs are being smooth it might be best to also generate the texture map with smooth UVs. So in order to do this, for now, we're just gonna turn off this map. We're gonna come up here to geometry and right next to divide, you're gonna see an SUV and a ReUV. So this SUV stands for smooth UVs. So I'm gonna turn this on and now I'm gonna click the ReUV. And what ZBrush is going to do is recalculate the UVs at this level now, which we're sitting at the highest level, and now smooth the UVs. And so now when we come down here to our texture map and we click new from poly paint, the texture that has been created has now smooth UVs applied. And now to just to export only this individual map, you can clone the texture and this will get put in now into the texture menu and you can see it's selected here and selected here. And now all you have to do is click export. Now, if you are trying to export multiple textures across multiple subtools, the best thing to use would be using the Z plugin and use the multi-map exporter, which will allow you to generate maps such as your displacement, vector displacement, normal map, and you can see your texture from polypaint and many other maps. So that's it. That's how you can create a texture map from your poly paint. Thank you for watching. Please continue to send in your questions to hashtag AskZBrush through Twitter.